Assalamu alaikum. In my previous video, I taught how to convert decimal integers to binary or any other base number system that is base R. So I would like to encourage you to watch previous video of this series so that you have a firm concept of these conversions. Its link can be found in the description below. Well, in this video, we will put our focus on decimal fraction first, where we will get a our hands dirty with its convergence to binary that is base 2 or any other base R system. And then we will look for ways to convert decimal fractions not an integer or fractions part but as a whole like this one will be put on engineering table for treatment this one. At last you will get how to convert this decimal into as a whole. Well in previous we have discussed this part and in this video we will do this fraction part and later we will do how to convert this as a whole okay so let's get started now the convergence of a decimal fraction to a binary is accomplished by a method similar to that we use for integer that i have taught in my previous video however multiplication is used instead of division and integers are accumulated instead of remainders again the method is best explained by example so let's do this first example and let me take this part fractional part what I mean that we will take this part 0 0.6875 as this is the integer part and this is the fraction part now to convert this into equivalent binary number so as I told you that when we have to convert this to a binary number we do it by division well this fraction parts can also be done by same method third but we use multiplication instead of division we have to multiply 0 0.6875 is we have to convert to this base so it will be multiplied by 2 and when this is multiplied we will get 1.3750 okay but in more precise way i can write this one as 1 plus 0 0.3750 let me name it as integer and this one will be fraction okay this column so what if i say that this will be the integer i can write this number as 1 plus 0 0.3750 now this will be integer column and this will be fraction column and this will be a coefficient so now again multiply this fraction by 2 0 0.3750 into 2 and we will get 0 and integer column plus 0 0.7500 now again i am multiplying this 0 0.7500 with 2 and this time it will get us 1 plus 0 0.500 and 0 now again multiplying by 2 and here integer will be 1 plus 0 0.000 and 0 so i have to tell you that when we have to convert this decimal fraction to a binary number we are multiply this fraction by 2 to give an integer and a fraction. The new fraction is again multiplied by 2 to give us a new integer and a fraction. So this process is actually continued until the fraction becomes 0 or until the number of digits have sufficient accuracy. Now this column will be written as the coefficients of binary numbers are obtained from integers. Now these coefficients, now these coefficients column of binary numbers will be obtained from the integers and it will be like a sub minus 1 a sub minus 2 0 a sub minus 3 is equal to this one and a sub minus 4 is equal to 1 we can know that the answer to this to this number will be base 10 it can be like 0 point and binary minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so by putting these values it will get us 0 0.1011 and i have taught this sequence in our first video of this lecture series so you 
you can also find that video's link in the description below as well. To convert a decimal fractions to a number express and base R, a similar procedure is used. As we have to convert this decimal to a base 2, that is binary, we multiply this with 2. Now if we have to convert this decimal fractions to eternally number or that is to base 3 then we will multiply it by 3. If the required is base 4 we will multiply these with 4 and if the desired base is 5 so you have to multiply it with 5. So the process is similar. Multiplication is by R instead of 2. Now we will take an example that how we have to convert a decimal to octal let's uh, do this for this decimal fraction to be converted into octal we will do the process over here but let me make the columns that is of integers fraction fraction and this column will be of coefficient which we will obtain from this integers okay 0 0.513 into 8 it will get us 4.104 so here the integer is 4 and fraction is 0 0.104 again this fractions will be multiplied by 8 and for this we will get 0 0.832 so here the integer will be 0 and fraction will be 0.8 3 2 again this will be multiplied by 8 i am using calculator to get its answer and in this case it will be 6.656 so here the integer will be 6 and the fraction will be 0.656 okay. now again this will be multiplied by 8 and in this case it will be 5.248 so the integer is 5 and the fraction is 0.248 again multiplying this fraction by 8 so for this one I will get 1.984 so the integer will be 1 and the fraction will be 0.984 again multiplying this 0.984 into 8 will get us 7.872 so here the integer will be 7 and the fraction is 872 so the answer to 7 significant figure is obtained from the integer part of the product so what I mean that these coefficients will be obtained from this integer column. So here the coefficients will be ch changing its color so that you can make the difference. So here these coefficients will be obtained from integer column that is 4, 0, 6, 5, 1, 7. Now this decimal fraction has octal equivalent 0 point starting from this one 0 point four zero six five one five one and so on but these are actually seven significant figures i told that this process is continued until the fractions become zero or the number of digits have sufficient accuracy so this is the desire you can also do more calculations but the process is all i have to tell you the process is same that these fractions will be multiplied by 8 and 8 and so on here i would like to tell you something about these coefficients which include zero these coefficients which we obtain from these integers so it has zero one two three four five six seven and so on this is one thing that here we can say that we have for this octal we have these coefficients from 0 to range 7 okay? and for binary numbers we were only have 0 and 1 so 0 comma 1 i can say that the coefficient found from the integers may range and value from 0 to r minus 1 okay so these coefficients will range from 0 to r minus 1 what does it mean that for 8 it will be from 0 to 8 minus 1 so you can see at these coefficients ranges from 0 to 7 and for binary number which is 2 it ranges 0 and 1 and similarly for 3 it will be 0 1 2 okay 3 and for 4 it will be for uh, base 4 it will be 0 1 2 and 3 okay these will be coefficients for base 4 these will be coefficients for ternary number 
these are coefficients for binary number and these for octal. As early in our class, I told you that we will calculate at this decimal fractions binary equivalent. So we find this fraction parts equivalent. Now I have taught this in previous class. Um, I have we can find this integers binary equivalent by division. So let me recall that and I strongly recommend that you watch that video and uh, that's links will be in description so let me do it again so this column will be divided by two okay. mm, and this here we will have integer remainders so 41 divided by 2 it will get us 20 20 divided by 2 it will be equal to 10 remainder will be 0 now again 10 divided by 2 integer will be 5 remainder will be 0 and 5 divided by 2 integer will be 2 and 1 will be remainder and when 2 is divided by 2, integer will be 1, and remainder will be 0. And when this 1 is divided by 2, integer will be 0, and remainder will be 1. Now, if you do remember that for this part, integer part, we go that way. So, this is equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Writing it over here. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. zero. One now per point, it will be like this point, and we have calculated a binary equivalent earlier by multiplication, and this one is equal to zero point. So after point, we will have to write one zero one one. Okay, so as a whole, you can do it that way. Now let's do this last example. In my previous video, I also saw this 153 octal equivalent. And uh, let me do it again, just dividing by 8. This column will be divided by 8. I will get 19 and a remainder will be 1. Then again, this is divided by 8. So I will get 2. Integer will be 2 and remainder will be 3. And when this is divided by 8, so the integer will be 0 and the remainder will be 2 okay so i can write this one for this equivalent so it can be like to base 2 3 1 i have sorted out in detail this one in my previous and just moments ago we sorted this one let me show you it has an answer up you can see this is the answer so for zero up to seven significant figures okay the bottom line for this part is that that whenever we have a decimal fractions we will divide its integer part and it can be converted by division well the this fractional part can be find out by multiplication okay that's the bottom line if this must be converted to ternary system we will divide this part by three and this will be multiplied by three and the process is the same as I told class. I hope you would have some firm concept about this decimal fraction. Again, I have to tell you that the conversions of decimal number with both integer and fraction part is done by converting the integer and fraction separately and then combining the two answers together. Don't forget to take your homework. Suggest its answer in the comment section. See you in next lecture, inshallah. Thank you. Allah peace.